bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to the How to Play a Hero Guide. Here we look at a particular hero, how to select it, and then play it at the various different phases of the game. So Meepo is a carry and an initiator. As a carry, he tends to farm insanely well, do huge levels of nuke and push damage, and 1v1, almost difficult, impossible to deal with. As an initiator, he can blink on you, net, and then all his Meepos puff in, and that's usually enough to effectively kill you in the game. As a pusher, the guy, particularly if you buy the right items, can push lanes, literally all three lanes at the same time, while also doing the jungle. And then whenever pressure gets on any one of those particular sites, he can then puff out and then not be killed. But he takes insane levels of control in order to do that. Finally, he's a nuker and disabler. If you have all five Meepos, you actually have nearly 2,000 nuke damage. That gives him the highest levels of nuke damage in the game. And as a disabler, he can net you. That's why he's terrifying. If a Meepo nets you, turns up, and you can't kill him, he will nuke you to death, and you'll die. In terms of his contributions to the team, he has insane nuke damage, so his early to mid game is completely messed up. He can lock down pretty much the entire enemy team and wipe them all, and he also pushes insanely well. So in terms of the best locations to be, um, there's two options. There's safe lane and there's mid lane. His safe lane win rate is actually um, slightly more depressed, but it is kind of traditional to do that. The main reason being is that he just simply cannot farm as fast and as quick as the mid game. Um, and so it's harder for him to come online quicker. And the big thing that you want about Meepo is for him to come online as quickly as possible. Um, like I say, the kind of the way you want to go for him is his mid game is actually your early game and so you know you want to do it that way in the mid um, he has actually a positive win rate because you can come online so quickly so generally speaking if you need a carry but usually a position two as opposed to, opposed to position one carry um, and you have jungle free jungles and strong pushing is part of your strategy then Meepo is a superb pick his push potential is completely insane, and he can literally push all lanes and put insane pressure on your enemies. Um, makes him absolutely incredible. He's not, however, so great when you are dealing with cleave heroes, heroes that can do insane levels of focused target damage. Um, AoE stun doesn't help. And of course, if there's lots of other carries, or they're going for quite a long late game strategy, then Meepo isn't anywhere near as effective. So in terms of the early game, naturally, of course, it is situational, but um, insane levels of farm. So assuming you've gone mid, you are going to, at every opportunity, farm both the jungle and your lane or even lanes. And of course, this requires insane levels of um, keyboard control, micro skills um, that are not easy, which is why he's so hard to play and why it's so difficult in unskilled hands to do well. But the kind of main objective, because because Meepo now is done all by stats, you want to get that Agadim Scepter and Dragon Lance and so on and so forth, just so that you can have as much tank as possible, as much durability as possible, because Meepo is very easy to kill if you're not careful. But remember, with all that poof damage and his continuous map rotations, and uh, particularly once you get Boots of Travel, he can easily get to level you know, 18 by about 15 minutes without any trouble at all. Um, then for your mid game, it comes down to ganking and pushing. Um, so if anyone's solo, provided they haven't got like a luck shot on killing Meepo, he will just net and kill them. Um, so it, it, like I say, all of them together, smacking you down, slowing you down, putting nets on you, and then poofing in your face is completely insane. But remember, of course, you've got to micro the weak Meepos because otherwise you'll just get picked off. And that's kind of the big, big problem with Meepo and why a lot of people really struggle with them, is that it's very, very easy to target just one, and because he's not amazingly tanky, he goes down. But, like I say, once you've got three, or even, you're particularly online once you've got three Meepos, but once you've got four or, or even five, because you've got that Ags, pushing the lanes becomes a big thing, and the boots of travel becomes a, a nice little option. Unless, of course, you're going for your power treads strategy. Um, 
Then finally, you have your late game options. Now, at this at this point, um, you know, usually, yeah, you have decided for the the boots of travel and high levels of push. Usually, two or even three get lanes. You catch anybody out by themselves. You net them. You push in their face, and then you just you're just doing hard push into the game. Generally speaking, you can also get that um, Aegis. Now, once you've got the Aegis, that gives you an awesome opportunity. Invite your team is with you. You turn up. You net the enemy team. Your Meepo puffs in. Massive levels of nuke damage and, and pressure. Meanwhile, your teammates are following up. Uh, and then you resurrect because you've been killed. And then once again, more poof nuke damage. And usually you've wiped out the team by this point. And then you can just charge the base and destroy everyone. But like I say, remember, Meepo will go down pretty easy. And so coordinating a late game attack requires the full cooperation of your team. Um, whereas in the mid game, it's not so much of an issue. And of course, you buy lockdown items, it becomes even more effective and even more powerful. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share it. If you'd like more videos of the same content or maybe something a bit different, please follow the video links below.